Greetings and salutations, humans of Earth. Hey, it's Red Wild Rider once again here with, as you see here on the paper, a mixed bag of stuff. I've been picking up a whole bunch of stuff recently because I found some good prices on some things. So I said, you know what? I really need some of the cards out of the game night thing, the uh, custom cards. And um, you know what? I figured it was easier just to buy the box instead of just trying to buy the separate cards. Especially because one of them is like 30 bucks, Fiendish Duo in the red deck. So yeah, so this product is uh, meant to be a... Uh, out-of-the-box game of magic for five people with five decks that are supposed to be um, well-matched against each other, and um, I'm sure somebody else has done a video about that. Uh, I ain't gonna. So, uh, I got this to take the cards out. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. But, I figured let's open it on video, take a look at what's in the product, because, uh, you know, maybe you might want to pick it up. I mean, I was able to pick this up. I think I paid uh, 50 for it, but um, I think it actually goes for a little more normally. I think I just got lucky, you know, perusing eBay in the middle of the night for no reason. <laughs> okay, so give you a little play guide and rule book over here. Okay, and I guess it introduces you to uh, how to play the game if you've never played before. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm not going to read through all of this, but it seems, uh, seems pretty well defined. They're going to, you know, look at, uh, you look at the decks, uh, some of the cards that are in it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. How to read a magic card. So this is intended for people who have never played magic before. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so they go through all the different things on the card, power and toughness, expansion symbol, your play area. That is an awfully big play area. Oh, no, no, that's for best both people. Okay, fair enough. I just looked at the top of it. I was like, wow, because all the way down to the bottom of the page, how? Oh, yeah, because there's other things there. And game actions and stuff like that. So this is interesting. I, wouldn't, I would be very curious to see... If someone who has never played Magic before could pick up this rule book and just read the rule book and be okay playing a game of Magic, even if they have to like sit there with the rule book and just kind of like follow along, I'm very curious to know if that's possible. So in here they give you uh, some punch out counters and these little stands where you can put your uh, spin down dice. So they give you a. Uh, Whole set of spin down dice with no symbol on them, so it's just straight up 20 in the number spot there. Uh, and I guess a lot of the decks have plus one, plus one counters. So, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to open. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I want to open all these decks right now, but uh, they do give you five decks in here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's open them. Why not? I'm going to go. I'm just going to fly through this. I'll like highlight the, um, the special card. Because there's one uh, brand new card that's in each of these decks, which is, I guess, how they figure they get to sell them to Magic players. Just be like, hey, you know, new card you're going to need. And there it is, this High Cliff Felidar. So there's seven mana, five, five of Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, choose a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Destroy those creatures. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good ability. I totally understand. So they give you a Kithion's Irregulars in here, which is pretty decent. Zatalpa Primal Dawn is a fun creature. Uh, Loxodon Life Channer. So there's a bunch of good rares in here. Safara Sky's Blade. Uh, I think those are the only rares. I think there's only five uh, rares in each deck. And they give you, you know, an assorted bunch of cards. It's, you know, they're not the best decks. But uh, what are you expecting for a um, prepackaged set over here? So yeah, so the red one, like I said, is a really good card, and I, I already have it like slotted into a deck that I'm uh, working on. So that's uh, definitely going to be a thing. By the way, you see the zombie tokens in the blue deck? Yeah, as it turns out, I was looking through the uh, deck list for these things, and uh, not every deck makes tokens. So they made, um, they just put a few tokens in each uh, pile just for the wrapping. So Sphinx of Enlightenment is the blue new card, six mana, five five flying. When it enters the battlefield, 
<laughs> Excuse me, target opponent draws a card and you draw three cards. I mean, I guess it's not, you know, you're giving your opponent something. I'm never a fan of that, but uh, you got Engulf the Shore, River's Rebuke, Agent of Treachery, which is a great rare. It's like a $9 card, I think. And Dungeon Geist, which is, you know, kind of crappy, but okay. So, yeah, there's a little value in this box, too. I mean, it's, you know, like, don't buy it because you're looking to get value on the box. Buy it because you want those uh, special edition cards. Uh, and, you know, if you think that this might be a thing that you and your friends might want to play, you know, go for it. I mean, I'd rather do other casual uh, magic things with my friends, but, um, you know, your, your call's your call. I mean, hey... <laughs> You know? Anyway, uh, Calculating Lich. Six mana, five, five. I'm sensing a theme here with, like, uh, five fives for six or seven mana. Uh, with Menace, whenever a creature attacks one of your opponents, that player loses one life. I like that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I I know exactly what deck that's going to go into. So in here you get Liliana's Mastery, Torgar, Famine Incarnate, Dread Presence... And Villas Broker of Blood. Eh, you know, decent deck. Not that, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay, so now we're going to see the big boy, the uh, the big money that uh, is in this uh, deck. And like I said, when you see the cards, you're going to understand why. I mean, it's, it's totally cool. You know, like I said, it's already in one of my deck lists. It was one of the reasons why I needed this. But it's Fiendish Duo. <clears throat> there we go. Six mana, five, five. First strike. If a sorcerer deals damage to an opponent, it deals double that damage to that player instead. So it's it's a it's a not you version of Furnace of Wrath, which is uh, you know uh, perfectly acceptable. I'll take it. <laughs> I get into Kroom Hellkite in here, a Lathless Dragon Queen, which is pretty solid. Drakseth Moa Flames, which is another solid card, and a Glintorn Buccaneer. Okay, and then finally the green one. And I forget what the what the green card is in here, the um, special one. But, oh, there, well, we're going to find out soon enough. Uh, six mana, six, six, with Trample, Earthshaker Giant, uh, when it enters the battlefield, other creatures you control get overrun. Okay, yep, totally good with that. That works. And, of course, this deck has Galta Primal Hunger, which is great. Ripjaw Raptor, a great card. Voracious Hydra, perfectly fine. And Wake Root Elemental seems good. Like, the green deck actually seems pretty decent. All right, but that's game night. So you, you, you get this little, like, plastic thing where you can keep all the junk. And, uh, yep, so I'm going to just uh, reassemble this box and put it away. And let's get down to some pack openings. Because we know... That's what we all really want to see. We want to see what magic happens in these magic packs. So I do have a stack of Strixhaven promo packs, uh, but I'm going to put those on the side for right now. Uh, I have already put one of the regular promo packs into the uh, bundle that I'm going to be giving away when I hit 88 subscribers. I believe that as of the time of filming this video, which is uh, now May 11th, um, I was at 69 uh but uh yeah so hopefully uh we'll get uh we'll get to 88 real soon rock it up there because you know rocket 88 and all that and uh yep so that's that let's rock and roll with some icoria now i'm 99.9999999 percent sure that these are not first edition so there's no chance at the box hopper being uh, our um, uh, Space Godzilla buddy. But the thing with Ikoria, I don't know if anybody's been following the prices on these uh, on singles lately, but I, you know, I was looking them up a couple of weeks ago and wow, like oh, there's a lot of, uh, the lands are all, you know, still worth money. And there's a bunch of other rares that are also worth money. <laughs> so it's not like like if you if you can get a an Ikoria booster box for like normal price, like there's no reason not to. There's plenty of rares and mythics that uh, you know make back the value of the pack in these things. 
you know, and, and you're pretty much assured to get a couple of lands in each box. And knock on wood now, because uh, now, now that I said that. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm afraid now. So I'm just going to, you know, skip forward to the uh, uncommons. I'm not going to really pull out any of the... Um, uh, now, I might pull out the showcase cards. There's actually a couple of showcase cards that uh, on the uncommons I don't have. So, our first rare that's going to send us off into Ikoria is General Kudro. It's a mythic. All right. So, General Kudro is awesome. Good deal. Okay, and then land in the token. All right. So, yeah, so... We've got a good chance of opening up some uh, pretty decent value in these two boxes. And I got these for really, really uh, reasonable prices. So I'm not too worried about uh, potentially not making money back on them because I'm pretty sure I'm going to. Uh, Crystalline Giant for our first regular rare. Um, yeah, I guess. Ugh. That was not good opening that pack. <laughs> All right, try to fast forward to the uh, good stuff here. We get uh, our first companion is Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Pretty solid. I actually, I think in all my products, I think I only opened one Obosh. So um, that's pretty good. Like one of the things I noticed when I was looking through my collection, I was thinking like, like I had some, I had a little money to buy some more boxes, and I was like, "Well, what set do I really need a lot of stuff from?" It turned out I need a lot of stuff from Ikoria, and I had no idea. I thought I had plenty of uh, Ikoria stuff, but apparently I didn't. Majestic Oricorn Showcase, uh, very cool. I I don't know if I have any of those. Oh, we got a full art Snapdax. Uh, probably the worst of the <laughs> of the legendary mutate creature cycle. But it's still a full art card, so I'll take it. I don't have a problem. <laughs> I like the full art cards. They're good. I hope I, I hope we uh, open a couple more in here. All right, we got a foil in here. Okay. We got Mythos of Snapdax for the rare. And a Gust of Wind common foil. Yeah, so... I'm, uh, I'm actually planning on building a Mutate deck, too. Um, probably probably Otrimi. I mean, uh, pretty obviously, that's kind of the direction you really want to go uh, if you're going to do that. Hey, we got our first good rare that's worth a lot, lot, lot. That's Lurus. That's right, boy. Lurus of the Dream Den. All right. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not worried. Like, I opened one good Mythic and a couple of lands... And uh, Loris there, and I, I think uh, be all right. Be all right in terms of uh, box value. Genesis Ultimatum, very cool. That's funny. Huntmaster Liger is abs. I'm absolutely certain I did not get any showcase Huntmaster Ligers. So now I have a foil showcase Huntmaster Liger. So that's awesome. I'm glad that worked out that way. You see, this this is already paying off. These are like you know minor little details. When when you open packs, like sometimes there's like silly things you want or silly things you need. And uh, there you go, Huntmaster Liger. I think I have another uh, full art card in here. Uh, another, uh, yeah, I think so. Yep, and it's a gem razor. Not necessarily the full art. Uh, rare that we wanted, but yeah, yeah maybe we might get another one. Might get another one. You know, foil uh, common garrison cat, Mr. Garrison. Yeah. All right, I had to do that. And I got two boxes of Psychoria stuff. This is gonna be fun. Okay, we get a Frontland Felidar. All righty. But yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking of building the Mutate deck, and like I said, I realized I was missing a bunch of Ikoria stuff anywhere that I felt like I, you know, because if I bought another box or two, like, it would probably be pretty good in terms of catch up. What the, what the what with the Duplicate Mythic? 
what the want with the duplicate mythic? I have never. I I I, I can't think. I'm trying to think if, if I've ever had that happen before. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before where, where you get two, two of the same mythic. Like, like foil mythic is one thing, but that's not a foil. That's a regular-ass General Kudro. So I don't know about that. Wow. That's weird. I wish it was a better mythic. Hey, we did get, we did get a full art land and it's Ketria Triome which is one of the more expensive ones I think Ketria and Zagoth were the two most expensive so that's awesome I'm going to put that right up there and Windscarred Crag okay so already we got one land and it's a full art land it's dumb mythics but uh you know what can you do about that okay there's another foil in here we get Song of Creation an all right card and a foil fertilid i guess that's kind of cool I mean, fertilid's not awful certainly playable in a lot of decks all righty let's see what do we got we got a mythos and nethroi if we boop yes we boop See, um, there we go. Hey, that's nice. That's one of the better mythics to open. Yeah, when we boop. The Luna Apex of Wishes. And I do not have a regular one, so now I do. At least I'm pretty sure Luna was one of the good ones. Maybe, uh, maybe in between boxes I'll, uh, I'll take a look and refresh my memory. I was trying to re remember what was good, but I, I saw so many good rares that I was like, well, you know, I don't even really have to worry about the mythics. <laughs> but it turns out maybe I did another Genesis Ultimatum. The duplication in this box is intense right now. Wow. I mean, I do expect rare duplicates, just not very frequently. And hey, another companion, and it's Karuga. Karuga. Okay, and foil unexpected fangs. I would hate to have to deal with unexpected fangs. Or, you know, an unexpected bug from the ceiling actually happened. <laughs> another companion, it's Guy Ruta, Doom of Depths. And behind is a foil Zenith Flare. Very cool. Yeah, you don't ever want a bug falling from the ceiling on you. Eh, especially when you're in the shower. Uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's a true story. Death's Oasis. And I think that's our first, I think that's the first punch out card that I've opened. Wow. I always thought there were more of those punch out cards. Yeah, it's a disgusting story, and uh, it landed in a very uh, precarious place as well. So, like, just telling you all that, I think I've, I've already told you the story, and, ha and imagine how freaky it was. Dirge Bat is the rare. Just put it right down there. And a foil basic. And I think that's our first garbage card. That's pretty good. Wow. Hopefully now the floodgates don't open on those. That would be rather sad. Another punch out. Okay. And another companion. It's Kahira. And a foil flame spell. You know what I haven't seen yet? Foil rare and or mythic. We should have uh, two foil rares. In these packs, if I recall, so should be uh, should be something spicy coming up. And a shark Typhoon and a foil catchy. Wow, what a what a pack this is. A shark typhoon and a foil Ketria triome. That has to be like a thirty dollar pack at least. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna check that now. Because I, I got to know. 
I gotta know if that's what that just was. Because that was... That was very nice. I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Tetria Trium. Uh, the regular foil... Ah, it's like twelve. I thought it was. I thought it would be more. Oh well, right. Collectors boxes. Sorry, sorry. Shark Typhoon is nice. So it's still, maybe it's not thirty dollars, but it's like you know twenty, twenty, twenty something. Yeah, twenty, twenty, twenty something. Just one of those twenties. Not all six of them. All right. We got. We got a whirlwind of thought. Nice card. All right. Almost uh, two thirds of the way through here. Okay, Mythos of Brakos and a Blazing Volley foil. Ah! Ah! So, yeah, wow, a lot of foils, including that Ketria Triome foil. The collector's box is really, if you think about it, they've really brought down the, the price of, of rare foils. It's really bizarre. That's a nice mythic to open. Fiend Artisan. That's one of the better mythics in this set. Very nice. I think I did all right on this box. Avian Oddity. Although, I haven't seen another land. Actually, was there another land in here? I don't think so. Wow, so it's just we the two Catria Triomes. And and that's been it for the lands. Okay, but still got plenty more packs in this first uh, first two boxes. So uh, let's keep going. And got ruinous ultimatum again. One of the better rares here. Okay, destroy all non-land permanents your opponent's control. Who would have thought that that would have been worth some money? Gee, I don't know. We got wow, this is, this is like intense companion box. Umori the collector. It's like you get a companion and you get a companion and you get a companion. Yeah, I'll try not to do that again. Um, and what was I just saying? Gigantha, the wellspring. How I got I got I got to do a uh, I got to do. <laughs> A companion count at the end of this box. That's that's intense. That is an intense amount of companion. Mythos of Vadrock. Garbage card number two. Yeah, there were a lot of tokens in this set, and, and then you had the um, the punch out cards. So yeah, I could see there not being. Uh, a lot of them. Inspired Ultimatum. I think that covers us on most of the Ultimatums at this point. And the second foil rare is the Mythos of Snapdax. Okay. Not one of the better ones, but, you know, again, not complaining. I mean, everything else in this box has been just, like, pretty solid. Not Oh, you know what companion we're missing? The other good money, one of the other good money ones, Yorion. Yep. No Yorion in this box. We don't have definitely don't have all the companions. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Triple Ketria Triome box. <laughs> what the what the duplication, Batman? <laughs> like Wowza. Now you see like that duplication I kind of expected, like the rares and stuff. And I guess with the showcase too, you can't put those those two general Kudros are just staring at me like, what the hell was that all about? Okay, almost done with box one. Here we have Bonders Enclave. Very cool. And four packs in the box topper. I almost forgot about the box topper. All right. Okay. Titan's Nest. Okay. 
Less, less four packs now. All right. So really almost done with box one. Labyrinth Raptor. What's up next? Another one of the better rares, Dranith Magistrate. Very nice. I, I picked up a, um, another garbage card, a uh, foil extended art one <coughs> from uh, somebody on Twitter. Um, and, uh, it's a Nestico guy who uh, sells stuff on there. But yeah, I picked up a foil uh, extended art Dranith Magistrate off of him. Very, very nice card. Uh, pretty good deal. It's actually a pretty pricey card. Oh, we did get another Triome, and it's the Indatha one. Pretty solid. All right. Last pack, and then the box topper, and then a short break while I reset for box number two. Let's see. What's in here? Another Labyrinth Raptor. So not too many duplicate rares, really, but, I mean... Wow, Labyrinth Raptor had to be one of them, didn't it? And another garbage card to end the, to end the box. But we still have the box topper. Now, this box topper could be something good, because if it's a uh, Luna, but it could also be an uncommon, so let's not forget that. So, what do we get? It's Godzilla Primeval Champion, the Titan Oth Rex Uncommon. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad. So let me uh, start shuff, uh, shuffling some of this stuff off to the side. I'm going to make some piles over on the side over here. And I will go through those later. Let's just scoop them all up. All right. Uh, let's put the rares and those and all those. Slide, slide. There we go. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Yeah, I just did that. And time to take uh, some hydration. <sighs> and let's clear out the rest of the trash. Well, not trash, but you know. Alrighty, so wait, no, that's probably not a good place to leave those. That is marginally better. <laughs> All right, let's get going with box numero dos of Icoria. Can we get better mythics in different lands? That's my goal here. And a better full art than Snapdax. <laughs> again, again, I mean, it, it, the Snapdax art is great. I mean, it's just the value is just not there, you know? That's, that's all I'm saying. All right. I think, I, I think the one that I like the most that I don't have is uh, Vadrock. I think that's the, that's the one. All righty. Let's get going. Ding, ding, ding. Round two of Ikoria boxes. All right. Let's see what uh, magical stuff happens in these packs. Start off with a Dirge Bat, not very magical, and a Foil Clash of Titans. Let's make uh, the correct room there. Okay. That looks correct. All right, so that first box was really interesting. Wow. Uh, I don't know how we're going to match up on the second box, but uh, let's find out. And right away, awesome mythic luminous brood moth. That is great. That's like uh, that's at least ten bucks, and a foil solid footing. All right. So yeah, luminous brood moth. That's that's a great open. So this is already. Starting off to be a good box. Now, if I could just open like three or four, you know, uh, more triomes, that'd be great. Uh, and we start off with Zagoth Triome. Very good. 
<coughs> right there, there's uh, there's our first triumph. I'm gonna put the triumphs up there. All right. Next up in this box, Inspired Ultimatum. We got one of these last box. The camera refuses to boot, but that's fine. And first garbage card of the box. All right. Um, yep, we're good there. Hey, we got Nethroy, Apex of Death. Oh, yeah. Mythic number two and Foil Corpse Churn. See, we did get two foil uh, rares in that last box. Like I said, it's, it, it should average out to two foil rares a box now. Like, it seems like that's been pretty consistent uh, since they upped the foil count a few, um, a couple of years ago. Another Ruinous Ultimatum. Great. Oops. Camera boops. And Archipelago! You knew, you knew that was coming again, eventually. <laughs> Did you think I forgot about that? <laughs> nope. No way. <laughs> All right. Kogla the Titan Ape. All right. All right. What are we doing here? Uh, we're doing that. And Quartzwood Crasher. Very cool. Very cool. And Foil Showcase Auspicious Starix. Very cool. You know, I just I just realized that I did not actually uh, check to see uh, how many companions I opened uh, in, the, um, in the last one. But I'll do that uh, before I move on to the Strixhaven uh, promo packs for sure. Because I'm, I'm really curious. It, ha it has to be like eight. Savai Triome. Great. Another one. All right. Foil of one mind. And more garbage. Okay. That's a lot of garbage cards. I think it's already three. Well, last box we didn't get one for a long time. So I guess we were due. See, the Gambler's Fallacy. Un understand one thing about the Gambler's Fallacy. It only works when the outcome is bad for you. Then the gambler's fallacy will come true. Eventually the bad crap will happen. It's the good stuff that doesn't always come around. Bonders Enclave. Foil Savite Crystal. There's a lot of foils in these early packs. Wow. So I'm probably probably not going to see too many foils for the rest of this box. Unless, you know, this is like some crazy box that just happens to have a ton of foils in it. I mean, that could happen too. I mean, we don't know. Uh, classification. Giant kitty cat. Garbage number four. They're going to start getting flung farther and farther, I think. Um, that's always a possibility. All right. Sharky and Kihira, the orphan guard. So starting our run of companions. If we can get another worse, that'd be nice. We can get an Ozolith. That'd be nice, too. That's another one of the nice money. Uh, okay. But no, we can keep getting Crystalline Giants. <laughs> That's fine. Garbage five. Wow. Wow. All the wow. Skycat Sovereign didn't see that in the last uh, last box there. Another Dranith Magistrate. Very nice. That did not make the garbage pail. <laughs> you, 
couldn't see you off camera, but I completely juggled that. Wow, I think this is the first unpredictable cyclone I've opened in Ikoria. I literally, I'm pretty sure I have zero unpredictable cyclones before this one. <laughs> so, there we go. I could have bought singles, but I just never did. I just never got around to it. Like, yeah. Unpredictable cyclone. Unpredictably shows up. Uh-oh. Uh, sneeze, one sec. <laughs> Damn. Woo! I ain't cutting that out. Guy rooted Doom of Depths. Very nice. The Demon Kraken. If somebody says it's unprofessional to, see, to keep the sneeze in, I'm just going to say, well, who said I was a professional? I'm just here to have some fun, guys. Yidero! Oh yeah, he's another decent uh, decent value rare there. Very cool. We didn't see him last box. So it's good that he shows up here. Maybe uh, maybe the Ozil will show up here too. Maybe perhaps possibly. Maybe it could happen. It can happen. But no, we got another kitty cat. Another giant kitty cat. Yep. Mo Giant Kitty Cats. All right. Everquill Phoenix. Very cool. Not a lot of money, but still very cool. You didn't see him last uh, last box either. Still only two Mythics. Well, hopefully that will change shortly. Let's find out. I believe that's our second Quartzwood Crasher of the box. Which, we didn't get him last box, so I guess that's fine. I don't think we got him last box. I don't remember seeing him, so. Yeah, it's already out of my brain. I'm on to the next box. <laughs> okay. Sea Dasher Octopus. Right on. And a Foil Dirge Bat. Because I don't have enough Foil Dirge Bats, apparently. So there's another foil dirge bat for me. <laughs> and that is our um, first foil rare, I believe. All right. All right. What we got here? Hey, that was another uh, another uh, companion we didn't get was Lutri. So got Lutri now. All right. Uh, this is pack number 24. Two thirds of the way through. Still only the two mythics. Mm -hmm -hmm. And it's Hunted Nightmare. All right. Last third. Let's see it. Let's see the good stuff. Where is it? Where's the full art triome? Not here, because we got Death's Oasis instead, and a Foil Blossoming Sands. Eh. Ah, what's going on in this box? First box was sweet. This box, sour. Lord Drac is up. There we go. Uh, Zagoth Triome, which is our other good money Triome. So I'm going to shut up and stop complaining now. I'm going to just be quiet. Quiet. I said quiet. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Double Zagoth trying on one of them full art. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, now now it's just now it's just complain about not getting mythics and get another Frontland Felidar instead. Okay. Woo! This is tough. I mean, I did get the Brood Moth. Nice, but I'd like to see a Planeswalker in here. I didn't see a Planeswalker last box. And another Triome. Triome number four in Dotha Triome. And there's our second foil rare. And of course, it's Crystalline Giant. Of course, because you knew it was coming. Oh, I could. I had a feeling that was going to happen. When I saw that first Crystalline Giant, I said, I'm going to open a full Crystalline Giant, aren't I? 
I should I should put money on these things. I really should. <laughs> it's scary how often I'm right on them. Uh, another Hunted Nightmare. Another duplicate rare. I think that's three duplicate rares in this uh, so far. Not counting the Zagoth Triumph. Still only two Mythics. I think that's a full art gem razor back there. Sure enough, it is indeed a full art gem razor. Another one. And a foil honey mammoth. And another garbage card. The number six. Wow. I think I have way too many full art gem razors. <laughs> All right. Obosh? Oh, Bosh, you're not a mythic. One, two, three, four, five. Yikes. Five packs left. I, I, I'm I, pretty sure I did not miss a mythic. So, wow. Uh, Slither Wisp, not a mythic. I'm, I'm going to quickly check it and see if I missed one. If I missed one, I'm sure, you know, people are yelling, but... I don't think I missed one. Nope, did not miss one. Those are all rare. So there's got to be like two mythics in these packs then. Otherwise I'll be a little disappointed because that's way below average. It's supposed to be an average of like four to five. So being very below the average would be disappointing. And it's a second death word, but it's a full art one. Not going to complain. Okay. Okay, that was Mythic number three. Hoping I would get, like, Vadrock or something, because I'm pretty sure I don't have a Vadrock uh, extended art like that, but okay. Narset! Aw, oh, yeah! That's, that's pretty decent. Foil Island. Okay, Mythic's in the last packs, uh, warming it up here. Okay, what's in here now? And a Brockos. <laughs> so look at that. Those last four packs, three Mythics. And there's the five Mythics for the box. <laughs> and maybe, ho hopefully one in the box topper. That'd be amazing. Okay, last pack. Okay, what, what happens here? It's Zerda, the Dawn Waker. So that was it. All right. That was uh, pretty good. Again, very much cannot complain about that box. Uh, no Ozoliths. That, I'm, a, um, I'm not surprised. I had a feeling I wasn't going to get any Ozoliths. But, you know, again, whatever. <laughs> you know, can only complain so much. So let's, uh, let's bust that box topper, huh? Come on, something spicy. Come on, spicy, spicy. Come on, don't be polywogs in the What? This was a first edition box? Nice. Nice, I did get it. I didn't know these were first edition boxes. If I knew these were first edition boxes, I would have bought more probably. Wow. I did not know that was possible. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Another shiny Space Godzilla. All right. All right. So let me just push these off to the side over here. That'll take all but a second. Because I'm just going to move stack. Move, ah, move stack. There we go. And move stack. And move the stack. And I'm going to check real quick over here. Again, I want to see how many of the um, companions I picked up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was seven. Yes, I didn't get Zerda, Lor um, Lutri, and um, I forget the other one I didn't get. But I got it in the other box. So... Wow, that was pretty good there. So now, it's on the Strixhaven promo packs. 
So here's what's going to happen. I have here 10 regular promo packs and two foil promo packs. I'm going to give out all the codes from the regular promo packs. One foil promo pack code I'm going to keep for myself. One foil promo pack code is going to be added into the pool for the 88 uh, subscribers uh, target uh, giveaway that I'm going to do. So let's get down to business here. As always, please, when you uh, use the code, um, I'm gonna number. I'm gonna say number one, number two, etc. So this is gonna be pack number one. Uh, just you know, post in the comments. Let people know which code you've used already, so that they don't try to use the codes. Okay, just please. It's courtesy for uh, your uh, fellow watchers. Okay, so I just ask that you do that. So for the first promo pack. We get Cody Viziferous Codex for our Strixhaven Rare. Expressive Iteration for our Strixhaven promo card. Nice! Carnage Tyrant! Wow! That is a that that was a sick pull right there. I can't complain. Carnage Tyrant. Awesome. And arena promo code number one. Remember, if you use it, please let us know in the comments. Promo pack number two. What do we get? What do we got? What's going to happen? I think it's all downhill after that first pack, really. Uh, Vel uh, nope, maybe not. Velomachus Lorehold. We got our first Strixhaven Mythic. Decisive Denial. And the Temple of Epiphany. Alrighty. And promo code number two for Arena. Please mention in the comments you, 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 that you've used code two if you just used that code. Thank you very much. I have to say, people were very good about it in the in the um, in the pre-release kit videos. And uh, thank you very much for that, by the way. Okay, thank you very much for uh, being good and letting us know when you use the codes. Callous Blood Mage for our Strixhaven card. Fracture for the promo. And wow, a Lotus Cobra. Hey, all right. Pretty solid. Code number three, arena code number three. Please remember to leave it in the comments that you've used it. Thank you very much. All right, we get a Witherbloom command, pretty solid. Another expressive iteration, and an Archon of Sun's Grace. All right, as our Pegasus guy, code number four, code number four. That end doesn't open. Wow. Some of these packs are actually kind of hard to open. I don't know what it is. All right. What do we have here? We have a Sparring Regimen for our Strixhaven Rare. Mortality Spear promo. And Nightmare Shepherd for our non-set rare or mythic. Code 5. Code 5. Code 5. Remember, please let us know in the comments which code you used. Just so nobody else tries to use that code. Please be kind to your fellow Magic players. Silver Quill Command. Another expressive iteration. And Castle Vantress. Right on. Oh, whoa. What the... That is damage to hell. None of the other cards in the pack are any sort of damaged. I, I don't know if you could see it. Let me, let me do code six first. Code six, everybody. Code six. Code six. But yeah, so what the hell with me getting damaged cards? So you can see on the expressive iteration, there's no damage. Perfectly normal, perfectly fine. 
Silver Crow Command, when we boop, no damage, perfectly fine. Castle Vantress. I noticed that there was something wobbly about the card. Can you, yeah, you, you see it right over there, right? You see that damage? There's like a whole, like, there's like a, it looks like something poked up right in that spot over there. Um, and, and tweak the card. Cause on this side, it's very, very clearly bent. Like I'm trying to see if I'm looking at my screen to see if you could see it on the camera. And it looks, looks like it's not coming through. I'm also not focused. So there's that. Yeah. You can see it now. You see there's that little curve right, right over there. It's yeah. You can see the shadow of, of the curve from what hit it. So, wow, another damaged card. What are the chances? Well, so I'm going to have to talk to some people later tonight. I probably won't sell that one. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if somebody would want that. That's a that's weird damage. Like, what the hell? Like like I said, the pack wasn't damaged. Like it had, That had to be damaged before it was in a pack. I don't know what the hell happened to that. Wow. I, I'll take Shadrix, not complaining. I don't have any Belladurst Witherbloom, so I was really hoping I would open one of them, but okay. I'll, like I said, I'm not complaining. Another Fracture. Uh, I'm just going to be silent and laugh to myself for a moment. Okay, everybody, Code 7. Code 7. That's right, it's code seven. Please let us know in the comments that you used code seven. Alrighty. Well, pack number eight. Dramatic finale. Mortality spear. Archpriest of Iona. Okay. And code number eight, code number eight, code eight. All right, pack number nine. Uh, just winding down over here. Nice. Elite Spellbinder. Decisive Denial. One, two, three, four. There's a fifth one that I haven't seen yet. And another temple, Temple of Plenty. And Code 9, Code 9. Good old Code 9. And finally, for the last of the regular promo packs. The last code will be given away today. We'll do the two foil packs. All right, Hall of Oracles. There's number five, Rip Apart. And Dance of the Mance, In Your Pants. Code number 10. This is code number 10, the final code. Please let us know which code you used so that nobody else tries to use those codes. Two foil promo packs of Strixhaven. So like I said, one code I'm going to keep for myself, and the other code will go to somebody once I hit 88 subscribers. Alright, so we'll put that over there. And foil Venerable Warsinger. Very pretty foil fracture. I was hoping to get a foil of this. Very nice. And a foil sea dasher octopus. Right on. Right on. And last one. All right. Okay, arena code to the side. And mythic foil, but it's bought out the sky. All right, still mythic foil. Can't complain. Foil rip apart. 
And finally, a foil settle the wreckage. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Foil roofing. Boop. Where's the camera booping? I, I think the camera's saying, look, this has been a long enough video. I'm damn tired. There it goes. Oh, it's very pretty when, when it's shiny, shiny on the foil there. Very nice. So thank you all very much for watching. Wow, what a video this has been. Another another pack damaged card shows up in, in, in my Strixhaven stuff because, you know, why the hell not? This is this has just been the way this set has gone for me. Uh, did open a bunch of mythics in here, um, two dragons and foil blonde out the sky. Uh, did get a Carnage Tyrant and a Lotus Cobra and a couple of other good things. Cannot complain about any of this. Wow. Wow. Great series. Great, uh, great run of packs here. Once again, thank you all for being here. Once again, if you use the codes, please let us know in the comments that you use them. But that's it for me. I got nothing left. Red Wild Rider saying thank you once again. Do all the cool YouTube stuff for me. Please, please, please comment, like, subscribe, share, uh, ring the bell. Um, anything, anything, anything you do for the channel is appreciated. Believe me. Okay. Uh, let's, let's get that subscriber count up for me, guys and ladies and gentlemen and whatever. Ah, that's it. I'm done. Peace. I'm out.